Hello, hello, everybody, and thank you for joining the Caroline live show. Please say hello in the live chat. I'm monitoring that, and I will say hello back, and uh, thank you for joining me. This is my eighth, I think, YouTube live show. Today is May 14th, 2020, and I've got a lineup for you guys today, and I hope you're um, watching along. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to get started with the show as I usually do. Before I get started, we're going to have a few housekeeping rules. Oh, hello, Walter. Hello, Walter from Germany. Thank you so much for joining. You're one of my regulars now. So excited to see everybody on the show today. Now, housekeeping, uh, no medical advice here. I am not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. I do this show every Thursday at 3 o'clock during the COVID-19 global pandemic. This is a place of positivity. We're going to be, I know times are tough right now, but we're going to be positive during this show. And I'm going to be positive for you. Please be positive for me. And of course, last but not least, uh, please mute your Amazon devices or your Google devices or whatever devices or listen with headphones up to you as I will say the trigger word uh, probably by accident and I will trigger your device and I can't mute that out while I'm on while I'm doing a live show. Hello Tina. Thank you for joining the show. If you're on the show say hi and I'm gonna get really excited and say hi back. All right, so the agenda for this week is I'm going to give you my updates from last week, anything that changed. Uh, project ideas, I'll have project ideas for you for Raspberry Pi, Alexa, and I'll have, I have this really great wildcard idea. And then next week, I will, I will announce my video for next week, and you'll get that at the end of this broadcast. And... Uh, I will smash this iPhone during at the very, very end, and that's how we're going to end the show today, by me uh, smashing an iPhone. All right, so, and I do have safety glasses uh, for this portion of the show. I did borrow some from somebody. I didn't actually have any. I had to wait till I got some. And that is the agenda for today. Now, this week on Tuesday, two days ago, I launched a new video. It was uh, Plex Announcements, May 2020. Let me give you that link in the, in, the, in the chat here. I hope if you haven't already seen it, please do check out my latest YouTube video. It is about Plex and the latest updates. They are just like going out gangbusters and making all sorts of updates to their platform. And this week I talked about um, their partnership with Crackle. They have literally added thousands of free streaming TV and movies to their lineup. Uh, and now they're saying Plex users in the US will now be able to stream more individual movies than you can stream on Netflix. Wow. Okay. So I had to make that announcement this week. That was very exciting. If you haven't already seen it, uh, check it out. Yes. All right. Um, and and please, of course, if you are going to sign up for a Plex account, please use my my link here. I'm sending it out. This is how you get a free Plex account, and they do uh, track that for me. So please do use that. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Oh, hello, Cornerstone Media Group. And you said no. Okay, you probably were talking about me smashing that iPhone. All right. Yes, I'm going to smash an iPhone. Stay tuned. All right, so I have, um, to date, I think I've printed about 127 face shields in the middle of this uh, crisis. And uh, this is a picture that I posted on social media the other day. It's a ColourPop picture. It's, it's really, I, I like this picture. I think it's so cool because, you know, I'm in color and then they turn the rest of the picture black and white. So anyway, I thought that was a cool picture. I thought I'd share with everybody. But my big announcement is that my new 3D printer has arrived. I bought a Tronxy D01 printer and I did do a time lapse video yesterday. I haven't published it yet. I just I just made as I was assembling it. There's a time lapse video of myself assembling it. I think it took me about 30 minutes to assemble the actual printer itself, uh, but then it took me it felt like forever because there were no instructions on how to put together. There, there were four acrylic sides. It was an upgrade to the printer. Uh, there were no instructions on how to 
uh, print those or attach those. So that was a lot of trial and error. And uh, it is it does print faster. Uh, it's the bed and extruder do heat up at the same time. It is a linear rail, which makes it more accurate, makes it just a better printer in general. Uh, I'm not, this is not sponsored. I paid for this 3D printer with my own money. I haven't, I, I, I didn't get it for free. So anyway, you'll, I will publish in a few weeks from now, I will publish that time-lapse video of myself assembling it along with my initial feedback on the printer and you'll get to see that and I uh, hope you'll join me uh, when I do get around to publishing that video. All right. Um, all right. So here we are. Let's move on to my ideas, project ideas you can do at home. And I'll start off with a Raspberry Pi project idea. Raspberry Pi just launched their high quality camera. And I think that is super cool. I my local micro center sold out of these cameras in like the first three days before I could actually get over there. Uh, so I do not have a, a high quality camera to show you, unfortunately, or to do a video on right now. I guess I'll just keep on checking back. Hello, Paul Dunn. Thank you for joining. Uh, but one of my friends, uh, Don at Nova Spirit. Uh, did get a high quality camera and he did an awesome review on this on this uh, camera and the camera has you know it's it's you can mount it on a tripod that's that's huge for me that has nothing to do with the quality but oh my gosh I have such a I have so many problems trying to get my my little uh, my v2 camera working and you can buy different lenses for it and it all adds up you know so the camera retails for fifty dollars and then the lenses range from 25 to fifty dollars and but hey this is gonna be great for surveillance work I mean you're gonna have some really great surveillance uh, videos now assuming we can get to motion work with motion eye I don't know where motion eye is on that but uh, trust me I will be checking Checking that out shortly and that is my Raspberry Pi HQ camera idea now I do want to give you a little bonus Raspberry Pi idea this week and that is um, hackster.io and a lot of people know you that you can already do this but I'm gonna put this in the chat field you can see all of their most popular Raspberry Pi projects on their website through this link. And it just says it's sorting by most popular project. And there are just, I mean, there were already hundreds, if not thousands of projects on here already, but now you can just see them all at a glance. So if you are looking for more Raspberry Pi projects, you can uh, keep on, uh, you can just take a look at this. Um, there is one, okay, I really wanna do this project here. It's the, it is the Ikea hack here let's see if i can click on that but i think my ikea store is close i don't think i can actually do this project but anyway it's the android things lantern i think this is really super cool as well it is it is one of the top projects on this website on hackster.io so anyway check it out so tons of projects out there that you can do at home and as we're all sheltering in place and staying safe, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy here at, um, while we're watching this show, I'd much rather you be safe and healthy uh, and watching this show. Okay, moving on. So that was Raspberry Pi. Those are my project ideas for Raspberry Pi. Moving on, let's talk about my friend, Ada. Okay. Alexa, that's we kind of have a nickname for her because we keep on saying her name and then it goes off in my house. Anyway, so um, Amazon this week or last week very recently published helpful things you can do during COVID-19. And there's a whole blog post about it here. I'm going to um, put that in the chat field for you guys. Okay, and so you can check out Let's move it over. So this is the website here, and you can check out um, things that you can do on Alexa uh, during um, that that are COVID nineteen related. So I thought this was pretty cool. They talk about you can make a phone call, call others. You know, uh, you can do some meditation, and then there are of course music and games and entertainment and information. So let's switch back over to the slides and. 
let's see. So we have, um, you can get an update on COVID-19. These are the four that I've kind of picked out that I thought were kind of uh, funny. Uh, what should I do today? Make a call and sing a song for 20 seconds. And that's the whole hand washing thing. Uh, you're supposed to wash your hands for 20 seconds now. And you, and if you have one in the bathroom or nearby, you can you know, ask it to play a song for 20 seconds. All right, so let's check that out right now. Alexa, sing a song for 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. Wash your hands, everybody. Everybody, wash your hands. So here's a song. Alexa, sing stop. Okay, and then the other one I really liked was, what should I do today? Alexa, what should I do today? I've got some fun ways to keep you entertained. First, what are you in the mood for? Would you like top skills, guessing games, relaxation skills, recipe skills, or self-care skills? Or you can ask for more options. Stop. Anyway, a lot of different options here uh, with Alexa and stuff you can do. And of course, you can do it all from your home. And of course, you have everything you need to do this if you have an Alexa. And if not, you can just buy one. So, but anyway, uh, I, I just, I think that, you know, if you are, you know, they also have these articles about, you know, if you are um, blind or if you are handicapped, uh, what a great tool Alexa has been uh, for that community. You know, for example, if you, um, you know, if you don't want to go over and reach over for the lights because you're on crutches or because you're in a wheelchair, you know, set up a lot of uh, smart switches and, you're, and turn on and off your smart switches um, while if you're in a wheelchair. I, I think that is very helpful. Thermostats, anything really. Um, lock, you know, you can have a lock or you can have a video monitor on your, on your front door. So anyway, I think, that's, I think that's pretty cool. And I hope you'll check out their uh, little blog posts about different stuff you can do. Okay, Walter says we do the 20 second thing by singing happy birthday twice. Okay, very good, yes. You can sing happy birthday twice. And hey, sometimes it's fun to sing and wash your hands at the same time. I like that, thank you, Walter. All right, next. Okay, so next is my wild card idea for this show. And I don't do wild card every single week, but if I have an idea, I'll do it. And oh, back to Alexa, just before I move on, I just remembered, I had somebody contact me this week about, hey, you know, what are business ideas? Uh, how can I promote my business on Alexa? How can I make money with Alexa? And I actually pointed to her to a video, one of the live streams from a couple weeks ago, where I said, hey, make a podcast, and then you can publish it on Alexa. And um, so she watched the video and she published uh, her podcast on Alexa this week. And she said it got approved in less than one day. Um, her, her skill that featured her podcast on Alexa. And she did that through blueprints.amazon.com. Uh, so anyway... So that, that was kind of cool that, you know, hey, somebody asked me a question. I was like, oh, hey, I, I just covered that. Here's the here's a link for that. You can see how I did it. And uh, and, and so, yeah, these these videos, even after I've published them, are, are hopefully, you know, multi-purpose here. Anyway, so I, I was super excited when that happened to me this week. All right, so my wild card idea uh, while we are sheltering in place is uh, to write a book. I mean, hey, this is your time if you to put down your thoughts on paper. And I don't know if you knew this, but you can publish, you can self-publish for free. Yes, without, I mean, you have no upfront costs. I, I don't know how, what the age group of, of these people, of you guys are on this, on this live stream, but back in the day, and I'm dating myself here, if you wanted to write a book, you had to, you know, kind of write like a, um, a little portion of that book or some sort of, you know, teaser about that book. Then you had to shop it around to all these different publishers. And then, and then you get rejected by a bunch of publishers. And then, you know, and it was this whole saga in your life. Now you can uh, write the book in like Microsoft Word or something like that. And then you can publish direct to Kindle and it doesn't cost you a single cent to do that. And it's called Kindle Direct Publishing. And uh, let me show you, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, browser now. Um, let me show you how you do Kindle Direct Publishing. It's called kdp.amazon.com. And I, it automatically will redirect me into the US site because I'm in the US. But anyway, you kind of get the idea here. This is Kindle Direct Publishing. 
and you can self-publish your eBooks and paperbacks for free uh, with Kindle Direct Publishing. And I thought this was really cool. Let me switch back over to what I'm talking about here. So this is my friend, her name is Doreen Graham, and um, really, really sad story about her. Her daughter, and, and, and this is like an 18 year old, 16 to 18 year old saga she went through. This daughter, between the years of uh, 16 to 18, had Hodgkin's lymphoma disease. And then, and she does reveal this like on the cover of the book. This isn't a spoiler or anything, but her daughter does die at the end of the book. And so this book is about her personal journey through, um, through what she went through with her daughter uh, during this very difficult time. And so she published the book and then, um, and this is my friend and I took a picture with her when she published her book because I was super excited about it. But she did do, um, she did, um, she did Kindle Direct Publishing. And she has, by the way, she is a best-selling author. She, she wrote all these romance novels back in the uh, 90s and stuff. So her writing is amazing. It's, it's great. But anyway, if you are interested in, uh, yes, I'm live. Yes, hello from India. <laughs> I was finishing, I wanted to finish my story before I got to you. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, as I was going on about my friend, uh, she did decide to go uh, publish her book and she did it through Kindle Direct Publishing, I think. And I really specifically asked her about that. But anyway, that's if you are um, at home and you want to write about your life or write about you know something that you know about, now's the time to write a book. Put your you know thoughts down, put your put what you have down on paper and um and you can publish it. So let's go back over to the browser. Hello, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Akhil Krishna. Hello, Akhil Krishna, hello from India. Yes, I am live, yes. So let's go back to uh, Kindle Direct Publishing. Yes, you have to create an account in Kindle Direct Publishing, and then, you know, you can, there are popular um, genres, uh, for books, fiction, nonfiction, everything in between, kids' books, whatever your idea is. And then there's something called Kindle, Kindle Create. So essentially what you do is there's a template right here. And, um, and I guess I can, I can give you this. I will copy and paste this URL. And basically, there are all these uh, templates that you can download. So essentially, why do you, why do we have different templates? Just to let you know, uh, if you're going to do this in paperback, you want you can decide the size of your book. Is this a five by eight book? Is this a you know square book? Everything. So you you need to pick a size of your book and then um, and then do a layout for it. You can download a bunch of blank templates, and then um, you go to Kindle Create, and basically it's an app or an application that you download for, to your desktop computer, uh, download for PC or download for Mac, you download it, then you take your manuscript, um, I'm assuming the most popular is Microsoft Word, so you're taking your Microsoft Word, you, uh, you put it into this Kindle Create and it pops out into the format that you need uh, to publish on Kindle, uh, to do that direct publishing on Kindle um, and have a book that's available on Kindle for everybody on Amazon to buy, to read, to enjoy. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's uh, I I highly recommend that if you're looking for a project idea, you can do at home. You can do that at home right now. Now you're probably wondering, Caroline, are you going to publish a book? Hmm. Um, I actually am thinking about it. Quite honestly. Um, there is, you know, I, I would love to talk about, you know, my adventures on YouTube with you guys, but more realistically, I'm thinking about publishing a travel book. I've traveled to 42 countries and I am motion sick. And so it's been, I've had adventures just going to 42 countries. I've had even more interesting adventures, shall I say, uh, going to um, being motion sick and trying to travel to 42 different countries. So that's been a very unique experience for me. So I am thinking about doing that. Uh, if you would like, so this is my friend's book, Passing Rain, a memoir that I talked about just now that she has uh, published uh, using Kindle Direct, I think. And if you would um, like to buy her book, if you're interested in this, you know, like what kind of friend would I be if I didn't use my... Uh, platform to uh, promote my personal friends here. Anyway, so she's somebody I run with. I've known her for many, many years. Uh, that's cool. Okay, thank you. And uh, and this is um, her book. So if you want to buy her book, uh, here you go. You can buy her book. Anyway, 
So, yeah, I am thinking about writing a book now. Uh, depends, you know, how things kind of go with, you know, am I going to continue doing these live shows? If if y'all watch, I'll continue doing live show. If y'all don't watch, then I, mean, I guess I'll quit doing these live shows. I hope you're enjoying these live shows. Let me know. And then, um, and I am going to continue publishing every Tuesday the tutorial videos and stuff. So that does bring me to what is my next video that I am going to release on YouTube. Oh, wait, wait, before I get to that, um, the next the next thing I do want to talk about is your next question is, if you are actually interested in publishing a book, how am I going to make money? We're going to, you know, if you want to publish a book, you should do it for money, right? So I found this article today and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go paste this into the uh, chat field here and it is a guy who did do a self to did self publish on Kindle and he did make money at it and he does go into like numbers that he sold he sold uh, 18,000 copies of his book and and he talks about the way that he uh, promoted his book and and um, and made money uh, from writing a book and he did it through self publishing so number one okay and I, I would say this is about 80 to 90 percent of his advice which i think is really important write your best book it's not about the to me it's not about so much as the promotion of the book unless you're already a best-selling author you know which you're probably not if you're doing self-publishing i think to me it's more about writing a good book having a great product out there uh, because word of mouth and people talking about it is really going to be your your best marketing campaign and that's not something you're going to be able to control other than writing your best book uh, so I'm, I'm glad he starts off with that i think that's really super important uh, if you are thinking about writing a book write your best book it's and be authentic it's about you right or write a fiction book and it's still you're going to be authentic even fiction books there is a level of a personal experience from the author when they put those together by the way in case you didn't know that uh, okay so I promised I would get to, I've got two more things on the agenda today. I promised I'd get to uh, those. And so the next thing on the agenda is what's my video for next week? My video for next week is the hand washing timer. We talked about how much we need to, why we need to be washing for 20 seconds every time uh, because we're in a global pandemic. And I made a little hand washing timer where it's motion censored. So the thought process is you would, um, as you're reaching for your soap, you would set off the timer and then you, and then this music and it's royalty free music. I cut it uh, from YouTube and it would play for 20 seconds and then it would stop. And that's when you know you can stop washing your hands. Uh, so I made it from a Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W or Raspberry Pi, regular Raspberry Pi and a motion sensor. And I'm going to release uh, that video next Tuesday. All right. So stay tuned for that. Enjoy that video. All right. Need of the hour. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And now let's get on to the most important part or the least important part of this video which is i'm going to smash an iphone okay so a few weeks ago on this live broadcast i drowned it and i thought that would it would be over it would be that would be the end of that iphone that thing hung on for another 24 hours after that and this is the funniest part. One of my friends, you know, saw my tweet and and said to me, "My phone doesn't last for six hours in dry land, okay? And that's the phone I'm using right now. How does your phone last for 24 hours?" He needed to buy a new phone, okay? His the battery was dead on this phone. This sadly was a almost a brand new phone that this happened to. Um, it was dropped. It was just beyond repair. So we thought drowning it would be great. All right, so that did not work. So thus. I've got some safety goggles here, and I'm going to need a minute uh, to change everything here. I'm going to move the camera around a little bit, and then I am going to smash that that iPhone, and hopefully I won't hurt myself. Okay, so I'm going to need to move some stuff around here, and I'm going to change the camera view. All right, so give me a minute here, and forgive that I have to do this. There we go. Okay, hopefully you can see 
All right, see that phone now? And and we're gonna see how this see how this goes here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, this is kind of scary, quite honestly. <laughs> All right, here. Oh my gosh. Okay, that did not do very much. All right. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe I'll smash it. Oh my goodness. This is a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, and I did get out this, this screwdriver thinking that maybe I would... Wow, this thing is... Okay, I am not hitting this nearly hard enough. Oh, there it goes. Woo! Okay. Okay, now it's, now it's really smashing. All right, yes, there's a lot of glass coming up from doing... Okay, it is really... It is really... Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see what the back looks like. All right. Speed up the back of the phone. This is probably a violation of Apple's policies here somehow. Oh my goodness, what is this inside All right. of this phone? I'm just making a mess here. What do y'all think? Or have y'all just like quit watching now at this point? All right, so that is about the end of my show today. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please stay safe and healthy out there, and um, see you next week. And oh yeah, and, and as I always say, thank you so much to everybody working the front lines from healthcare professionals uh, to frontline grocery store workers to sanitation workers. Thank you so much, everybody working hard out there, keeping us safe. All right. Take care. I'm going to I'm going to smash a few more and then I'm going to stop this stream. All right.